Okay, so we're now going to have a look at uh, parallel systems in an algorithm. If you've kind of got the other stuff, this bit is, is kind of straightforward. Um, notice that I've changed Mimic. Um, I think it's just getting a bit confusing with all the things we're doing on the robot. Uh, but what we can do is we can pull in with this greenhouse all the things that we were doing before. So we have got um, inputs, and the inputs are slightly different on this in that if I click them with the right mouse, they go up by in five. If I click them with the left mouse, they go down uh, by five. Okay, so what parallel systems is, is that more than one thing is working on a separate system at the same time. So we've got a heater, a light, come on, a window, sprinkler, these things can come on. Now, before we were having them in one flowchart, but actually we can create more than one flowchart. So I can start my flowchart. I can say, uh, is the temperature less than, and I'm going to have a number, and let's say, is it less than 25? If so, I am going to turn my heater on. Otherwise, I'm going to turn my heater off. Okay, and because this is just an on and off, there's nothing flashing. I don't need any delays. I can just go, yep, yeah, there we go. Right, yes, if it's less, turn it on. Loop back round. No, yeah, loop back round. Nice, simple algorithm. So I run it now. The heater comes on because it's less than 25. As soon as it hits 25, uh, oh, we've put a light on. Let's <laughs> put the light off not the heater, that would be why. So as soon as it goes on, the heater's on, as soon as it hits 25, the heater goes off. Now brilliant, now that's great. So now I want the lights to come on, depending on how bright the sun is. If it's less, uh, if it's greater, let's do greater than for this one. If it's greater than a certain thing, certain amount, the sun has come up, I want the sun off. Well, I could put it underneath there, but if I put it underneath there, um, I have to make sure that the temperature is less than 25 before I actually do something. Well, I don't want that. The temperature might be less than 25. I might want the heater on, but the sun might be up as well. So to solve that problem, we have a second um, algorithm. So now I'm going to say, is the sun uh, greater than, is it greater than, let's say, 30? If it is greater than 30, I want the lights off. Uh, if it's not, I want them on. Again, we link that up. So is it great? Yes, it's greater than 30. Turn the lights off, loop back round. No, turn the light on, loop back round. So now, the heater and the light is on. Uh, the sun's coming up. It gets to 35 and the light goes off, but it's still a chilly day, so the heat is still on because this hasn't gone up yet. But they're reacting separately to one another. Okay, so that is how we create a parallel system. Okay, we put more than one flowchart in, and I can add another flowchart if I want. I could say, right, start, um, and I could do something else like the sprinklers. Let's put because let's say uh, forward, so power 100%. Okay, this is a slightly different way of looking at things. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to delay two. I'm going to. I'm just going to go to the side because I'm running out of space. Uh, sprinklers off. Delay two. Let's get those up. So now I've got another one, another one. I notice it hasn't got a decision in it. So actually this one's going to keep running. So sprinklers go on, they go off. The heater's on. Okay, the lights are on. Then the warmth comes up. The heater goes off. But the sprinklers are still coming on and off. The light goes on. As soon as it gets to a certain point, the light goes off as well. If it comes back down, that will come on. But see the sprinkler is still going. The heater can still go on. They're all running off of separate mini flowcharts or little flowcharts. Uh, so that is the next stage, is parallel systems, having more than one thing happening at once.